Good evening, everyone. Time for another member update. Now, this is the three-day chart of Bitcoin on Bitstamp. You can see that we've got a record high price that we hit today at 1283.3. Bitfinex is a bit higher now. We're currently at 1259. Bitfinex is at 1262. The Russian exchange is at 1239. The Chinese exchange has not yet hit 1200, so it's still lagging. Uh, the two trend lines that I put in here, this is going to be the big issue that we need to talk about from this point on, is where is this going to go? Now, if we get a return to the base trend line, then that's going to give us a price of roughly $400. If we get a return to this original up uh, high trend line, then we're going to get about a price of four thousand dollars and that's just a rough guesstimate based upon the height of this and multiplying it back to try to reach this line and uh, it if we went straight up from here the price what we would get back to this line extended out would be roughly for four to five thousand but I'm guessing about four thousand now that's kind of interesting because if we take this breakout here from roughly 300, you can see the move was about 1200. So after it got through that old spike high, it rapidly moved up in a uh, fourfold move. A fourfold move from where we are right now is going to take us nearly $5,000. So four to $5,000 based on both of those. Now that doesn't mean we can't return back to this lower trend line. We've done it a number of times. We did it here, we did it here, here, we did it again here, followed it here, and then we, since uh, roughly November of 2015, we haven't had a return to that trend line. So we're going to watch this carefully. If this is going to be a uh, repeat performance of what we had back in September of 2013 with that run-up, then this is going to happen very fast. It's going to be at 1500 before you know it, through 2000 before you know it, 3000, 4000. That's going to happen uh, very quickly. You can see this is on a three day chart, so these green lines are three days. So it took, you know, maybe a week or two before the blast off started, and then, uh, then it was going up every single day until it reached that high. So we'll know very quickly. Next chart we want to look at here is. This is the target stock chart. That's going to be the story I'm going to be talking about here after we finish looking at the charts. And this is a fascinating chart because if you're not aware, the American Family Association announced a boycott of Target when they announced their twisted transgender, whatever it was, bathroom policy. And you can see here with this line here and with this line here, uh, basically the price of Target, its beta was fairly tight. It was tracking the Dow fairly closely. There were some differences uh, down in here, but generally uh, the two tracked each other. And you could pick just about any stock in the stock market. And unless it's a complete loser like most of the mining companies, it's going to trend fairly consistently with the moves in the Dow. And the reason we know that that is the case is because the uh, basis for the price rises in these stocks is is uh, the money supply. It's just how much money is out there and the Fed using low interest rates to force it into financial assets, specifically stocks. So the other key thing, key takeaway here about this chart is that you can see that there's a critical breakdown from this uh, support line here. But the main thing I want you to look at is the difference between the Dow up here and Target down here. This is the biggest differential. And uh, that, in my mind, is clearly evidence of the boycott. We're going to read that article in a second. But let's jump over to the silver chart because we had some people are reporting a massive smackdown. It really wasn't a massive smackdown. If we go to the five minute chart, uh, the volume isn't that high, the move isn't that big. It took us about 50 cents, 60 cents really, 18.4 uh, 18 down to 17.7. Uh, 
So at the extreme point, it was a 70 cent move. Uh, it's starting to stabilize, but the formation looks negative. Uh, it looks like it may go lower. The volume was not that extreme for the types of volume that silver tends to do. We can see that if we pull out the daily chart that, uh, well, it's, that's too close in. Let's go to the hourly chart. So you can see this volume down here and the volume that we've been doing recently isn't that extreme compared to the volume that we've had in the past. But again, are these volume figures valid? Probably not. So there's not much, uh, not much stock we should really put into those. Now the other thing you want to notice is that this trend line, depending on how you draw it, is, is right there. We're talking about close to breaking that trend line an uptrend that's been in place uh, basically since that December bottom that was put in which is uh, a seasonal one that I was expecting but uh, now we seem to be rolling over now with the gold price as I spoke about before it's very key that on the day that we had uh, let's pull, pull up the daily the day that we had Bitcoin breaking through to 1285 up in here we had gold breaking down so it's uh, it's done deal Bitcoin is now worth more than an ounce of gold uh, we're not seeing the headlines that I would expect but again don't expect them to cover reality in the headlines because uh, their job is to suppress the news rather than report the news and so that's why when we get to the main story here uh, this is AFA, uh, American Family Association, and they are the ones who instituted this target boycott. Now, if you notice here in the article, uh, they tell you that the target boycott that they instituted was in April of last year when uh, Target announced that transgender bathroom policy. And you can see if we look on this weekly chart, that April of 2016 comes in right at this top. So uh, you can see that except for a prior high that they made, uh, that definitely marked the top and it's been straight down ever since that boycott was announced. So let's read some of the text of this. AFA target boycott crashes corporate earnings. AFA's 1.4 million supporters are dealing a crippling blow to target over their dangerous bathroom policy. The target boycott launched in April 2016 is causing a significant drop in foot traffic to the store. Effects of the boycott are clear in Target's financial report released February 28th. The report indicated a dramatic drop in Target sales and earnings during October, November, and December. This bad news for Target resulted in the company's stock value dropping 13% on the day of the report. Together we are making unprecedented financial impact on a corporation whose policy is to allow men to use the women's bathroom and dressing rooms. Target's decision is unacceptable for families and their dangerous and misguided policy continues to put women and children in harm's way. Target, however, remains willfully blind to the link between the boycott and the financial loss. But this blindness should not persist. Investors will hardly allow a politically correct bathroom policy based on a minority opinion to sink Target's profits further. Target investors must be aware that a strong majority of Americans believe the use of restrooms and dressing rooms should be linked to a person's biological sex. We must keep the pressure on Target. This is why it's urgent. The Target boycott reached 1.5 million signers by the end of April. At that point, I will personally return to Minneapolis with an additional 500,000 names. I will then discuss how Target can invite 1.5 million AFA supporters back to their store by having a common sense bathroom and dressing room policy that links usage of these rooms to a person's biological sex. And it goes on to the boycott. So. The takeaway from this is uh, two things. First of all, boycotts are effective. They do have uh, they do have real results, and but their results can be delayed. So that's why I watch this very very carefully and closely because the effects tend to be delayed. One reason is because 
of course, the delayed effect of reporting in corporate earnings and how those affect stocks. But the actual numbers that were coming in, those occurred at the time when the foot traffic decreased, but the effect on the stock price did not come until those numbers were actually reported but on a quarterly basis. So the first takeaway is that you do have an effect when you vote with your feet and with your dollars, but they will go to great lengths to suppress that reality because they don't want people to know about the power that they have. Now I've talked about before the incredible amount of money that's spent on presidential elections and all elections in fact, campaigns, ads, everything else. And I did a video before on what impact that would have on silver just with the money that was spent on the Ron Paul campaign trying to get Ron Paul elected. You could look at the amount of money that was spent uh, trying to elect Donald Trump, although I think Trump spent a lot of his own money. If even a percentage of that money went into silver, uh, there would be an explosive price move. So the main point is that the best uh, action that people can take is voting with their dollars and voting with their feet. And there's no question that the powers that be know this is the case. Let me prove that to you. Uh, I'm in networking and internet. I've done that for nearly the last 25 years or so. And uh, this uh, business is uh, one that, uh, especially the domain business, is one that's very shady. I keep an eye on a lot of domains. This is the domain boycott.com. Now, you would think, basically, the way that domains work is that any domain that is .com, which is the commercial, there's .org, .edu, .info, there's many other .dots now. But when the internet initially started, it was just about all .com. So .coms are very valuable. You can see just down here, related domains for sale, boycottnews.com, uh, gasboycott.com, and uh, many, many others. Now, if you go to boycott.com, just open this link up in a new tab, you can see just a generic page here. There's nothing there, and there hasn't been anything there. Uh, this is basically camping on a domain. Now, a lot of people will camp on a domain because they intend to sell it. Uh, this domain's never had anything on it. The other thing interesting is that it's at the Melbourne IT Registrar. That's a free registrar in Australia. Most of the registrars, such as the old one that dominated, was Network Solutions, and uh, it's now been spread out to a lot of others. There's GoDaddy, there's a whole bunch of others, but they all charge you to sign up a domain. It costs a certain amount of money, and you have to pay that a yearly fee. It makes sense, and I'm, I'm for that, but I'm for even greater rules on that, that if you don't have a domain in use, you lose it. Now, that will never happen. But the point here of this being registered at Melbourne IT is that that's a place where it doesn't cost you anything to lock up a domain. And what's very even more interesting about this story is that the person that is responsible for it, if you go down to the who is record and uh, the, pre the people that have authority over that, because if you want to make changes to DNS records, you have to be the authority. And you can see here that the admin authority for this domain is Luke Richards from Melbourne IT. And this domain has been registered since 1998. It's been locked up. So they've effectively locked up this domain. Now you can imagine how valuable, I tried to get this domain. You can imagine how valuable this domain would be because uh, boycotts could be done from there. And it was, it's something that people would find if there was a company that did something that really made people angry, such as what Target did. But there are many other companies, companies like Monsanto or the, the virus. Uh, um, um, sorry, I had a brain, <laughs> a brain blip there. But uh, the, the ones that uh, create the um, cures for the viruses and all those other companies that are in uh, poison business, uh, I'm sorry, vaccines, I couldn't think of it. Um, the vaccine companies, the companies that create GMOs that poison foods, there's a lot of companies that potentially could be targeted 
and a central point of that uh, the most obvious one would be boycott.com there's a lot of ways that you could do that uh, you could have uh, forums you could vote uh, you could do a lot of things and uh, you could have a very very large impact and that's the exact reason why they do things like this they lock up these domains they don't report the news uh, they don't want you to know the power that you have and unfortunately they're very very successful you can see that you just simply have to look at the price of silver that uh, the fundamentals of silver are the greatest fundamentals of any commodity or asset in the history of the world but due to their ability to suppress the price and use mind control they have effectively uh, kept the price down just by keeping people from voting with their dollars now people have voted with their feet against target that's a very very good sign many many people are voting with their feet for bitcoin as it's going into new highs so those are very encouraging signs to see that people are realizing the power of voting with their dollars and with their feet and we'll talk to you next time.